Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of July 1925, a substitute science teacher in Tennessee named John Thomas Scopes was found guilty of teaching evolution in school. In March 1925, Tennessee Governor Austin Pay signed into law the Butler Act, which prohibited teachers in state-funded schools from teaching human evolution as it went against the biblical account of mankind's origins. The American Civil Liberties Union soon announced that it was keen to finance a legal test case in order to challenge the constitutionality of the Butler Act, providing a teacher could be found who was willing to act as the defendant. George Rappelier, the manager of the Cumberland Coal and Iron Company in the small Tennessee town of Dayton, believed that a trial of this type could bring valuable publicity to the town. With the support of other local community leaders, he approached 24-year-old John T. Scopes. Although Scopes couldn't recall specifically teaching evolution, he did accept that he will have gone through the state-endorsed textbook chapter and chart relating to it. His students were consequently encouraged to testify against him, which led to his indictment on the 25th of May and the subsequent trial that began on the 10th of July. The monkey trial, as it was known, brought enormous crowds to Dayton, where their attention was split between carnival entertainments such as performing chimpanzees on the courthouse lawn and the numerous preachers who converged on the town to address the crowds. The trial's bitter exchanges between the prosecution and defence teams generated extensive media coverage on both sides of the Atlantic for almost two weeks before Scopes was found guilty and ordered to pay a fine of $100, the minimum amount possible. The Tennessee Supreme Court later overturned the verdict on a technicality, but the Butler Act itself stayed in place until its repeal in 1967.